Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, as part of our Bring That Mercedes Back From The Dead, I'm going to be introducing some short episodes called quickies. So if you want to get a quickie in, I'll uh, just number them. This one's going to be number one. And these are tidbits and little things that really aren't enough to make a whole episode but things that I find on the Mercedes, things I want to show you guys, things I'm going to do, and I may have a couple of those combined in each quickie. Hopefully the video won't be longer than four or five minutes, if that's even possible. So with quickie number one, let me show you something I found pretty neat on the Mercedes, and I think it's going to help a lot, and then something else that we need to take care of. Well, look at there. I didn't realize this car had a um, factory block heater. Here's the cord. I was just looking under it and decided to plug it in and what do you know it works let me show you now hopefully you can hear this the block heater is way back under there against the block the good thing about a factory mercedes block heater always is that it will heat the entire engine to where it's warm let me show you right now the Ambient temperature is about 80, 82 or so degrees. Okay, now look. That's right. It's already heated the engine up to about 100 and 800, well, 112 the lower you go. So what is this going to do? What does this mean? Well, I'm going to do an entire series on the glow plug relay because this relay is bad and we're going to get that uh, going. But I'm going to show you what a couple hours of having the block heater plugged in will do for your Mercedes if the glow plug relay is not working. Watch. So I wanted to show you, I took these wiper blades off, um, obviously the Mercedes, and I wanted to show you what horrible condition they're in. Um, I probably replaced these 10 years ago, but absolutely, I mean, it's not even, you don't even need to describe this. This is what UV radiation and ozone does to uh, rubber. Anyway, so I did a video on the how to make the wipers last a really, really long time. I've got some brand new uh, wiper blades. These are the really, really cheap Michelin ones that I put on the truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Aerospace 303 protectant. I invented a better mousetrap. Uh, I wanted to just show you guys real quick. If you'll take some tin foil and make a little boat and then stick that boat inside the holder, it will keep the um, 303 from leaking out because this really isn't um, sealed very good. So I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. It makes it much easier to have the wiper blades soaking in the 303. 